Hello crafty friends, I'm Lean from Studio Kato and I'm so happy you're joining me again today on the WOW YouTube channel. I am still so very happy and excited to be here. One of my favorite ways to use embossing powders is in combination with watercolors. So today I am using this um, technique, well it's not really a technique, but I'm doing this with two birthday cards or four two birthday cards. And I'm starting out with this hexagon background stamp by WOW. Now, my panel is quite a bit larger than I needed it to be. I will trim it down later with a die cut. I'm stamping this repeatedly because the watercolor paper is textured, so I do want a good impression, but I am fading it out towards the right side. So I am making sure I have a really clear impression on the left, but I am not adding as much ink or even no ink on the left side, so I get a bit of a tapered fade out look. I added vintage peacock embossing powder to that and then it's time for my second background. I'm not using a background stem for that. I am just using uh, this Tropical Leaves stem set by Reverse Confetti and I'm stamping all of the leaves repeatedly on this piece of paper so it fills it up completely. Once again, this panel of paper is way too large, way larger than I need it to be. But when I'm stamping a background, I find this easiest to do. That way I am sure that my actual background size will be completely filled up uh, nicely and I won't have to worry about it looking like I tried to fill it, filled it up and it wasn't actually nice and filled up, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Now I'm using my favorite newly discovered embossing powder for these leaves and that's the Royal Emerald embossing powder. It is so gorgeous. It has gold in it but also green and it's just so stunning especially when you heat set it. It's just it shifts it shifts from looking more green to more gold and it's magical. Once both of these backgrounds are heat set, I can start watercoloring and I am using the Magello Mission Gold watercolor set. Uh, these are my favorite watercolors. They come in a lot of colors, so you definitely don't need this many because you can easily mix your own. But um, yeah, this is just a really fun watercolor set I have and I've loved it. You can definitely see that it's been loved. I don't usually clean my palette because the colors I've mixed before are probably colors I will want to use later. So for this hexagon background, I am just using a ton of blues and a couple of purples as well, though I mix those in with the blues, so it's more a bluish purple that I end up with, and I really like it. I just make sure to put the paint near the left side of each hexagon, and then I fade it out over to the right with some clean water on my paintbrush. I'm not being careful to create a smooth blend here. I want some fun, interesting looks and some fun watercolor textures. So this is the easiest way to do this. Make sure you paint quite quickly. Um, and that way the water will play around on the paper and create some beautiful textures. I use a ton of different blues to keep things interesting. I am bringing in some very dark blues as well. And some very light blues are in there, some teal, some purple, like I mentioned before. I make sure all the hexagons are filled in. And the ones on the side, I kind of just leave as is. For each leaf on my second background, I am bringing in two colors. So you can see I painted the darkest color first, then I bring in the lightest color and blend them together. For that bluer leaf, it was a little bit more blue than I wanted it to be, but it's going to be fine in the end. Um, I added some uh, green and then some blue, and I'm just painting along. This goes really fast. It's super easy to do, but it's also very relaxing. I just watch some <laughs> series on YouTube or on Netflix while I do this. I think I watched some QI while painting this and I had a ton of fun. I decided to make these non-traditional birthday cards because we always have some trouble in my family deciding which cards to send to uh, male recipients. I think we should just send them critters and flowers like everything else, but some people have trouble with this. <laughs> so I figured why not make some neutral cards that could work for um, 
for men and women and the recipient will be happy with it and they'll look fun and they'll be a little bit more involved than just putting a sentiment on a card uh, which I've done before, just a colored sentiment on a, a white background because that was more neutral and I didn't like those and I didn't like to send those, but I'm very happy with these cards. So I'll be happy to send these along. They're still quite colorful and they are still quite involved to make. I think the set took me everything uh, together. It took me probably one and a half hours to finish these two cards. So they weren't quick cards, but I had a lot of fun to make them. Now for these sentiments, I'm using various dies. This is from the Happiest Hellos from the Stamp Market die set. Uh, this comes with this high layer die and it also comes with a hello layer die. I love this high. It's so beautiful. The script is stunning. And I'm layering two layers of thick white cardstock behind a layer of glitter silver cardstock. And then I also layered the shadow um, together. Those are two layers of black cardstock. For the gold sentiment, I used the reverse confetti word duo. I think it's hooray and cheers. So I used the cheers there. No, the hooray, sorry. I'm trying to do this uh, video or do this voiceover while the storm is raging through the country. So I'm trying to make this quickly before the wind makes too much noise. Once all my sentiments are layered up and ready to put on cards, I put together my cards. And since I worked on watercolor paper, I also cut down some watercolor paper to fill an A2 size note card. Um, because that way the whites match with the white of my background, my painted background, and the white of my card base. And I like it that way, but you don't have to do that. And then to put some dimension behind these card panels, I added some cardboard. I just glued everything together with the Barely Art Precision Craft glue, and that should give it some nice and sturdy dimension. Like I said, the cardboard is very sturdy and it's also a lot lighter than layering different pieces of uh, thick white cardstock together like I used to do. So it's a lot uh, cheaper to send with the post office. <laughs> and here are the backgrounds in all their sparkly wow embossing glory. And I'm putting the sentiments together now, or on the cards at least, with the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. I also added some sub-sentiments to make them definitely birthday cards. Uh, these are from the Honeybee stem set that I always forget the name of, but I think it's Inside Sentiments Birthday or something like that. It's a gorgeous set and it comes with matching dies that I've also used to cut these out. So these are stamped with uh, Wow Embossing ink and it's also uh, embossed with wow bright white super fine embossing powder to finish off these cards i am using the matte pearls by pink fresh studio i chose to go with the matte because i really really like the look of these and i also used a uh, matte gold paper for my hooray sentiment there these are the Matte Gold and Matte Silver Pearls by Pink Fresh Studio. I think I mentioned that already. And I glued them on there with Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive because that's quite a bit stronger than the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. For my envelopes, I just use some pattern paper when I make a ton of cards at once, which I did that day. I just go for pattern paper for my envelopes. It's quick and easy, and it also uses up some of those large sheets of pattern paper, which I collected way too many of. Um, I just fold them with the We Are Memory Keepers 123 punch board and then I glue them together with the Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. And that is it. Some really beautiful birthday cards, or at least I think so. I think the embossing powder shines on these. They are so stunning. And you can definitely use your marbled embossing powders or uh, your mixed embossing powders for this technique, you don't have to just use your basic golds and metallics. This can add a lot of interest to your outlines. And I think it just, it's just so beautiful and magical, especially when you watch it melt. I can't get enough of this. 
I hope you like the cards as much as I loved making them. It's been a long time since I painted, uh, but that's what I started out with in card making. I only used watercolors as a coloring medium, and I've kind of missed them. I didn't realize that before I got these out, but I really love watercolors. I should definitely use them more often. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. And I hope everyone in Europe stays safe with this storm. We're not really built for this weather, so I hope you're okay. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!